Hi, welcome to my channel. Is your medicine cabinet a constant source of stress? Can you access your medications easily? Do you know what you have? Do you know if all of your medications are still good or are some expired? Today, I'm going to share with you the easiest and simplest way to declutter and organize your medicine cabinet. Let's do this together so you can find what you're looking for, decrease waste, and simplify your life a little bit more. So first what I'm gonna do is actually clean up some counter space around my medicine cabinet, which is right behind me. I have these three shelves. Okay, well I've taken my sweater off because that sink, that faucet, sprays everywhere. So I have cleared off my working space and over here you can see at the bottom of this picture is my little trash bag I'm gonna be using. Okay, so my shelves are all empty. I've got everything out on these counter space over here. I'm going to go through each item bit by bit, item by item, and separate them into categories. I already have mine in categories from when I first organized this medicine cabinet a year ago. So what I'm gonna do now is go through each item and see the expiration date for each one and also categorize them into different categories. Um, and an awesome and amazing secret to organizing a cabinet with spices, medications, anything that has a bottle to it is to use these little Lazy Susans. These are absolutely amazing and I have two different types here, both from Walmart. So the different categories that I have for each of my medications are children's medication, medications I use on an everyday basis or extremely frequently, vitamins that I use regularly, and other vitamins that I do not use regularly. Allergy and first aid type of medications. And then I have a basket back here that I've dubbed like wound care and sunscreen and bug spray type thing, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that. I'm just gonna go through everything and see what I have left so that I can either keep the categories or make new categories. Okay, so I am done with 
going through each item and now I'm gonna show you my trash bag is overflowing, which I'm actually kind of happy about. So here's my trash bag. I can't even close it, but I will be throwing all of this stuff away. This stuff is actually gonna go into a separate wound care kind of container. I have all of my sunscreens and bug spray here, which I don't know if I'm gonna keep. It depends on how much room we have and if it's going to work in this space. This is all the kids stuff here. This is all of the things that my husband and I take either daily or at least on a weekly basis. This is all of the stuff related to pain. And then these are all the containers, all of the Lazy Susans that I have taken out of the cabinets and I need to wipe them down before we reload them. And back here is sort of allergy type, sicky poo type stuff. So right now I'm going to get on my step stool, wipe out these cabinets, um, a quick wipe down, and I'm gonna wash out the Lazy Susan containers before I go ahead and put everything back in. A side tip, one thing to remember when you are choosing your Lazy Susan for this space, make sure to measure your cabinets first before you go shopping. Our cabinets are actually really, really thin. I should say the depth is very short. So some of the Lazy Susans that are out there are quite big and would not fit in our cabinets and allow the doors to shut. What I'm going to do is put everything back in according to functionality because when you organize you have to really think about not only it looking neat and stress-free but also functioning with how your life flows and how your routine goes which is why I organized some of the different piles into medicines that we use every single week and also when my kid is sick and I need to grab something from the kids section I can just grab the Lazy Susan turn it around Find what I need on the Lazy Susan, and I'm good to go. So this is a super easy, super simple, and sustainable way to organize your medicine cabinet. So that's gonna be it for today. Let me know what you are decluttering and how your medicine cabinet is set up. Be sure to check out some other videos I have either up here or here, wherever, of the rest of my decluttering series. And also check out some of our other videos to see what else we've been up to. I hope with this decluttering episode with, for your medicine cabinet that I have helped you to simplify your life a little bit more. Thank you for watching and thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.